loops around for the Atari 2600. I believe this is based on the arcade game Blockade by Gremlin. I actually played the arcade game Grim, uh, Blockade uh, back in the late 70s at my local skating rink. It's a fun game. It's a two-player game, but still a lot of fun. You know, basically you're trying to encapsulate the other player and get them to run into one of your walls or their wall or the outside wall to get points. You played so many rounds and whoever won the most rounds wins the game overall. It's a pretty fun game. Great way to kill some time at the local skating rink where you're waiting to go out on the on the skating floor. Anyway, we're talking about the 2600 version they called Surround. I believe this came out in 78 or so. It's number 2641. Nice green box. Really cool artwork. We have 14 video games on here. We have 12 versions of Surround itself. And we have two versions of Video Graffiti. Of course, one of the cool things about this game of uh, Surround is you can play against the computer. Which is nice. I kind of like that. So of course, in the box we have our nice full color decal cartridge. Real nice. And we have a nice full color manual. Cool. Pretty simple manual. So what's the difficulty switches? So if you have, you know, set it to the B position, this position prevents the player from backing onto their own previous track block. Okay. Go the other way, they can. Then on the one player games, the left to go to D will control how the computer will play. To B, it'll play like an amateur, slide to A, the computer will play like a pro. Oof. <laughs> okay, so there's no difficulty settings for the video graffiti. So using the controller, basically just move whatever direction you want to go. Pretty cool. Show some nice screenshots here of some of the different things you can do. Make a little happy face with video graffiti. Pretty cool. Then we have our game select matrix. So we have, looks like in game three and four, we have a speed up. Then we allow diagonal movement. Now that's kind of cool when you're in the uh, surround. And then we also allow wraparound. So you can go off the side of the screen and come out on the other side. That's kind of cool. I usually just like to play the regular version of surround. Maybe speed up. I think speed up's a lot more fun to play. So let's go ahead and put this in. The old 2600. And let's make some blocks. Okay, so let's play the regular mode here first. So here we go. Willie versus the computer. I'm the green dot. Computer's the red dot. Now in this mode, the computer will run at a constant speed. Oh, he killed himself. <laughs> awesome. Now the sound effects can get monotonous after a while. But it's still a really cool game. Let's see if I can block the computer in over here. Oh, he blocked himself in. Advantage Willie! Awesome. Oh, I ran into myself. Well, that wasn't good. You gotta be careful about that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he crossed over. <laughs> there we go. I got a block, dude. Awesome. Okay, let's try the speed up mode. So that's gonna be mode four. Now, as the game plays, it'll get faster and faster. Oh, just sped up. This is a pretty fun mode to play. Oh, jeez. Oh, ran into the wall. Reflexes just weren't quick enough. Side. 
gonna try to block me in. Oh, dang it, I ran into the wall again. Willie cannot drive worth a darn here. Oh, come down here. Oh, let's go back to the top. Don't run into the wall. There we go, finally. Okay, let's try another another mode here. Let's try uh, let's do diagonal movement, which would be that's only two player. Yeah, diagonal movement and the wraparound are only two players. So that's a bummer. Oh well, let's play a few more games of this. Then we'll go mess with the video easel real quick. Ooh. I mean, it's kind of cool that they included a one-player version on this cartridge. At least you can play the game. Oh yeah, four points. Well, I probably should have went over that way. Where are you? It's been blocked in. That was a quick one. He really killed himself. Cool. Now let's try video graffiti. So if I hold down the action button, I can move my cursor around. I'm not draw anything. I let off. And it'll start to draw. Cool. I can also erase by holding down the the trigger. Pretty awesome. Got wrap round effect going here. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. I never really mess with this. You know, when I had the cartridge back then, I always just played the surround games. But it's still pretty cool. Except you're going to draw on the screen. Make different things. Pretty awesome. Anyway, that's Surround from Atari. Thanks for watching. <laughs>